It's the third and final day of our grand touring adventure. Getting up after so little sleep isn't easy. Still, I'm sure Grace will be having just as hard a time. Where have you been? Don't even ask. Get in. You know we've got over 300 miles to cover today. Let's go. Time to start our countdown clock. In an ultimate range anxiety test, we're trying to see whether this Kia EV6 GT can equal a petrol Grand Tourer and drive a thousand miles through Norway in just 24 hours of driving and charge time. And on this, our last leg, we're heading towards our final destination point, Tromso. Day three, Jimmy. Yeah, the last day. How are you feeling? Not great. Not enough sleep has occurred. This challenge has been a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. I'm really concerned now. Are we going to make the 24 hour challenge or not? So today's journey, we've got to do over 300 miles at the Norwegian slow speed limits. Mm. So we can't go as fast as you might imagine. Yeah. I worked out we need about eight hours, six minutes to do today's journey. Right, to get to our final destination yep. of Tromso, we do have to take a car ferry by the looks on the map. Yep. So currently, we're at about 50% charge. Do we charge before we get the ferry or after we get the ferry? I reckon we charge before, just in case we come across any problems with any of the charges like we have done. All right, well, let's go first get it done if we do get full charge at this first place we know we're good until the very end of this journey this will be our final charge fingers yeah. crossed if this does turn out to be our last charge it means we've covered more than a thousand miles done in three overnight full charges and three fast top-ups all right let's just hope you can see the charges there i can see two charges two charges let's just hope they're working with no cars no cars it looks as though we've got the chargers all to ourselves. So we've got 50 kilowatts here. Let's get it on and in. Let's wipe there. What are we going to do while this charges? Uh, wait. I think we might have to go and take advantage of this trip. Come for a swim. Oh, no. Fish will have your toes. You're missing out. Give it a shout when it's charged. As a big fan of the outdoors and wild water swimming, Jimmy has trouble resisting some of the best water he's ever seen. However, you may wish to look away. So how was the dip? Yeah, not bad. Very beautiful. Fresh, fresh water. The surroundings around us, for me, they have just been sublime, incredible. The views we've driven through so yeah. far. Right, here is the entrance to the car ferry. So this is nerve wracking now because if there's any delays, we could be in a lot of trouble just getting onto this ferry. We need to get on and go. Well, look, here comes the ferry. There is the ferry. During the crossing, we're going to stop the clock. Is that cheating? Well, the car isn't running and it isn't charging, so it seems fair. That way? That way. This way? Yeah. This really is the first moment we'll be able to relax and just take in these absolutely stunning Nordic views, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. I have to admit, this trip has been slightly more manic than I'd imagine, but we have only got around five hours left of this journey. When we get to the other end, we've got just under 200 miles still to go. It's going to be really, really tight to the wire all the way to the end. Time to run the clock and start driving again. But this is remote now. We are a long way up north. Back on the E6 and then away we go. 
we've got just enough range to make it to Tromso. This is obviously not the time to do something stupid, but I think we've earned it. We're going to have a proper press on that GT button. We've just got to see what it's like. Really? Yeah. We're going to use it? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is insane! When you press that button, you don't just get more power and acceleration. There's a whole load of other things happening. I mean, it comes alive. Yeah. All that 700 horsepower really does make this GT closer to a supercar in outright go. Don't tell me what it does to the range, though. After all of that, Ooh. we still do need to make it to the end, don't we? That has <laughs> a bit of a chunk out of our range, yeah, actually. That aside, the fact is that this journey has actually changed my attitude towards electric cars for the better. For the first time ever, I feel I'm in an EV that really does what it says it's going to do. And that, for me, has given me confidence in driving an EV. And yeah, sure, the chargers can sometimes be a little bit finickety, not well worked out, and not enough of them. The infrastructure isn't quite there. But with this car, if you have got the infrastructure, I'm absolutely 100% convinced that you can do what you want to do. You can motor normally and have fun doing it. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. This car has exceeded my expectations, really. It's important to remember if you do want that GT experience, you have to watch your speed and still plan carefully for electric refills. And predictably, on the last bit of the journey, we have a real wobbler. Oh, oh. hang on a moment. That's the first time, time that's, that's come, up. come up. Low EV battery warning, 10%. We are all in here. What time is it? 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Look how bright it is still. We've only got 5% battery power left. That's 17 miles range, and we've got 10 minutes of time left. Things are getting just a little bit on the tight side. 4%. 16 kilometres left of range. There is the city in the distance. That is the most northerly city in Europe. There. What a way to end this trip. If we make it. Our finishing line in Tromso is to be the beautiful cathedral. We've got six kilometres to drive, 4% for battery life, and just eight minutes. We've now got 4% charge left, barely any range left, and five minutes, 33 seconds. There is only three kilometres to go. We're about to hit the five minute mark oh. with 4% battery. I'm on the edge of my seat now. <laughs> four minutes, four minutes. We can't we really have come this go. far and not do it. That's the cathedral. That's it. That's no. where we're going. No, no, come no, Come on, no, we've got no. three minutes. That's the cathedral with there. 3%. Come on, it's on. literally there. There's traffic lights. The traffic lights have just turned green. Come on, traffic lights. Oh, come on. Is this it? Is this it? Go through, go this through. Is, this is it. Oh, uh-oh. Up here, up here. Round here, round here. This is it, this is it. Why, as soon as you stop the car, I'm going to stop the clock. Yeah. Stop the clock, stop the clock, stop the clock. Ah, 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 mate. We did it. We did it. We've got 3% charge left and only 11 kilometres on the range. But come on, the big one. Did we do it in 24 hours? You're not going to believe this. There is 1 minute 27 seconds on the clock. clock. Come on! We nailed that! That is awesome. That's an amazing end to an amazing journey. And the star of the show was an EV that really is a GT.